Kia ora and welcome to this quick overview on how to get started in the level two chemistry course for summer school. Now you should see that there is a get started uh, button above. So you'll notice there's actually an instructions tab as well as a modules tab. Now the first thing you do is you download this authentication sheet and you and your supervisor needs to sign it and then you upload it into the uh, authentication drop box. Your supervisor can be a friend, can be a parent, can be a, a relative, but it must be some uh, that that person must be somebody that will um, be happy to say that this is your own work. So if it's a closed book test, they must be around to supervise you for that. If it's an open book test, they must be able to look at it and say this is your own work. So that's the first step. The second step is you go to modules. Now to get an idea of student voice, we need you to complete what we call our diagnostic. So you go to the CH2001 uh, module, you click on the overview to get there very quickly to get to the teacher marked assignment. Then at the teacher marked assignment, you download this. Now, I haven't actually downloaded it, I've only opened it in my browser. So if you just type in here your name, uh, you'll you'll find you won't be able to save it with your type details. So the f you need to download and save to the desktop or your hard drive and then open it up from there before you type in. Um, and then you can type in all your answers, save it again and then upload to the Dropbox. If you want to just simply handwrite, that's fine. Download, print, handwrite your answers, scan it and upload to the Dropbox. You can use cam scanner uh, or take photographs. There are different ways if you don't have a a scanner uh, but you do have a cell phone you, you can um, get apps to be able to scan your work and then upload right so we're back over here again um, and we're going to go to the course home so we back to the getting started and now we're looking at the standards now most of you are going to be doing internals unless you trying to get an early start for level two next year where you might start with some externals. The internals are the titration. So um, you will need a laboratory for that. So sort that out with your teacher first. The only uh, laboratory that's basically open this summer is the one in Wellington. So you need to get to Wellington. Then there's the 207 one, which is a CH 2.7 standard on redox chemistry. Um, this is a PDF at the moment. It's not a um, online module as such with all embedded videos and activities and so on. It's just a PDF. So um, it's because it's still being utilized, you would just simply download the PDF. So if we click it, then you'll notice that is the PDF. This is the teacher marked assignment and you there are some supporting documents over here so if i for instance click on um, balancing redox or half equations then you'll notice there are some videos and some other things available some of the links may not be working because we are uh, transferring these on so let's go back to course homes so we're now looking at the last online uh, last internal which a lot of you may be doing and that's right at the very end the ch2031 this is at the end because you need to demonstrate knowledge of level two chemistry so if you aren't sure then please uh, talk to your teacher about it so if you just click on lesson two I mean, you would obviously work through the module. I'm just doing a short overview. You'll notice there are three topics we would like you to do. If you want a different topic, please let me know because your topic you chose may not be suitable. You have to show understanding of level two chemistry. So for instance, here you'll see catalytic converters. We give you a little video. We tell you what work you should have already have completed uh, before you start this. Um, watch all three videos, decide which one you want to do. When you've decided and you've worked through the module, um, right to, to the end, so I'm just going back to the, assess, up to the very end lesson, which is the assessment task. And you'll see that here is the assessment task. And you'll notice there are the three given 
so catalytic converters. Next one, soaps and detergents. Oh, sorry, uh, missed that one, polymers. Then um, that gives you sort of an overview with bullet points of what we're expecting. More detailed information is given in the resource booklets. So you'll see we give you a lot more detailed bullet points of what we're looking for, for the achievement and excellence. Give you some tips on how to make sure that you pass. Um, please make sure that you use um, your own words and you process the information. All um, your <laughs> All your equations and diagrams, if you just copy pictures from the internet, we just draw a line through it. If your only equations are just copied from the internet in terms of just copied and pasted, then we just draw a line through it and then you probably won't pass if you don't have any equations. So if you're not sure about how to type your equations, you can always handwrite on paper, take a photograph and cut your um, crop your photograph to fit so and insert that into your report so you'll notice then we give you resources they're all clickable so it gives you some background that you can read through um, and if you want extra uh, resources you're welcome to do your own research just give us all um, the, the links that you have used so um, I'm Deline Holm. You can contact me. My contact details are below. All the best uh, for summer school. Goodbye.